China has set its sights on an ambitious new goal, creating a satellite navigation system for the moon. This groundbreaking project, proposed by scientists from the Beijing Institute of Spacecraft System Engineering, involves deploying 21 satellites around the moon to provide real-time, high-precision navigation. But why is this important, and what does it mean for the future of lunar exploration? In this video, we'll explore the details of this proposal, its phases of deployment, and the strategic implications for space exploration. This project was proposed by scientists from the Beijing Institute of Spacecraft System Engineering. The plan involves deploying a constellation of 21 satellites around the moon to provide real-time, high-precision navigation, supporting China's broader lunar objectives. This system is designed to operate similarly to Earth-based systems like GPS and Baidu, but tailored to the unique challenges of lunar missions. The primary aim of this navigation system is to enhance the accuracy and safety of various lunar activities. With China planning to land astronauts on the moon by 2030 and establish a research base at the Lunar South Pole by 2035, precise navigation and positioning are crucial. This system will facilitate lunar surface movements, landings and takeoffs, ensuring the success of these ambitious missions. The satellites will be deployed in four types of orbits over three phases, each adding to the system's coverage and capability. The proposal's sustainable and cost-effective design emphasizes minimal fuel usage for station keeping, making it feasible for long-term lunar exploration. The initial phase will establish essential communication links, while subsequent phases will expand the system's reach and precision. China's vision for this navigation system goes beyond merely supporting its own missions. It aims to foster international collaboration by providing a reliable infrastructure for joint lunar exploration efforts. This collaborative approach could lead to shared advancements in space technology and deepen cooperation between spacefaring nations. The development of it reflects China's growing capabilities and aspirations in space exploration. By leveraging its expertise in satellite technology, exemplified by the success of the Baidu system, China is positioning itself as a leader in lunar exploration. The system will not only support scientific research and resource extraction, but also pave the way for potential commercial ventures on the moon. China's proposed lunar satellite navigation system is a testament to its commitment to advancing space exploration. It highlights the importance of precise navigation for the success of lunar missions and sets the stage for a new era of human activity on the moon. The phased deployment plan for China's Lunar Satellite Navigation System is meticulously designed to ensure comprehensive coverage and high precision. The plan unfolds over three distinct phases, each progressively enhancing the system's capabilities. In the first phase, two satellites will be placed in highly elliptical, extremely stable orbits. These orbits are chosen for their ability to maintain continuous communication between Earth and the Lunar South Pole region. This initial setup is crucial for establishing a reliable communication link, which is essential for coordinating early lunar missions. The elliptical orbits allow the satellites to minimize fuel usage for station keeping, making the system sustainable and cost-effective from the outset. The second phase involves adding nine satellites to the constellation, bringing the total to 11. These satellites will be positioned in two additional orbit types, providing full-time navigation for the lunar south pole region. This phase will also ensure around-the-clock communication between Earth and any place on the Moon. The expanded coverage is vital for supporting more complex missions, including surface operations and scientific research. By increasing the number of satellites and diversifying their orbits, this phase enhances the precision and reliability of the navigation system. The final phase aims to complete the constellation by deploying the remaining satellites, bringing the total to 21. These satellites will be distributed across four different types of orbits, ensuring that any point on the lunar surface can receive accurate positioning data for more than 70% of the time. This comprehensive coverage is essential for enabling sustained human presence and activity on the Moon. The fully deployed system will support a wide range of operations, from landing and takeoff to surface navigation and scientific exploration. Throughout these phases, the emphasis is on optimizing orbit parameters and refining the system design to maximize efficiency and precision. 
the phased approach ensures that the system can be expanded and improved over time, adapting to the evolving needs of lunar exploration. By carefully planning each phase, China is laying a solid foundation for a robust and reliable lunar navigation system. The strategic and technological implications of China's lunar satellite navigation system are profound, positioning the country as a leader in space exploration and fostering international collaboration. Developing this navigation system for the moon represents a significant technological advancement. The project requires sophisticated engineering to design satellites capable of withstanding the harsh lunar environment. Leveraging China's expertise in satellite technology, particularly the success of the Baidu system, this lunar navigation network will incorporate advanced features to ensure high precision and reliability. The system will utilize cutting-edge technology to provide real-time data, enhancing the safety and efficiency of lunar missions. From a strategic perspective, this initiative solidifies China's position in the global space race. By establishing a reliable navigation infrastructure on the moon, China is enhancing its capabilities and influence in space exploration. This navigation system will support a wide range of lunar activities, from scientific research to potential commercial endeavors. The ability to provide precise navigation and positioning data is crucial for the success of future missions, including manned landings and the construction of a lunar research base. This strategic move not only boosts China's standing but also ensures a competitive edge in lunar exploration. China's lunar navigation system also has significant implications for international collaboration. As China plans to build a research base at the Lunar South Pole with international partners, it will play a critical role in supporting joint missions and research activities. It will facilitate coordination and communication among international teams, fostering a spirit of cooperation and mutual benefit. By providing a reliable infrastructure, China is creating opportunities for shared advancements in space technology and exploration. This collaborative approach could lead to a more unified and efficient effort in exploring and utilizing lunar resources. So, the strategic and technological implications of China's lunar satellite navigation system are far-reaching. The project represents a significant technological milestone, enhancing the precision and reliability of lunar missions. Strategically, it positions China as a leader in space exploration, providing a competitive edge in the race to establish a sustained presence on the moon. Furthermore, the system's potential for fostering international collaboration underscores the importance of cooperative efforts in advancing space exploration. As China progresses with this ambitious project, the world watches with anticipation, recognizing the profound impact it will have on the future of lunar exploration. In this video, we've explored China's innovative proposal for a lunar satellite navigation system, detailing its phases, technological advancements, and strategic importance. We hope you learned something new and found the information exciting. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Don't forget to leave a comment below to share your thoughts on this news and tell us what you'd like to learn more about. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.